when you go to the doctor that's generated all those scans, it's just very vast and dense. And we kind of, we, we absolutely need better types of networks to handle that. And then you add on AI and, and potentially cameras that are using computer vision, all these cool buzzwords. It just adds to the level of this heavy load of data that is only really useful if it moves pretty quickly and enables a doctor to say, oh, oh yeah, I see that AI has gone through a million people that look like Robin and Robin has some GI issues. And we looked at people across the country, across the world, all look like him. These are some guidelines to be able to look at. I think that's where we're getting to. And then that then the pharma companies looking at drug discovery and in a non-biased way, I think it's really exciting. And I think of any industry, AI and, and this need for real-time communications is really exciting.